Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my channel. Today on the Black Pearl series, I am going to weather some cannons. And on a bit different note from my usual videos, I'm also going to be using a new product, relatively new product from Ammo called the U-Rust. And I'm going to make green patina on the, on the cannons and have a look what's in the kit and so on. I have decided to make the cannons on the Black Pearl with green patina, even though it's not exactly accurate. The cannons on the Black Pearl don't show up as brass cannons, and the ship, if it was a real one by the style, it would be considerably older than the brass cannons. But I have decided to, to go with green patina, I think it will tie up to what I'm going to do with the figurehead and with the decorations on the back. So I've decided that it will look better with green patina, even though iron cannons wouldn't get green patina. I've 3D printed some cannons and now I'm painting them with the same German grey I use on the hull. I have applied the rust texture from Vallejo. I wanted to, to have some texture on the cannons. This is the best way to get it. Now this part, this is not necessary. But it was my first time trying the, the product. I wasn't completely sure if it would have a good coverage. I wasn't even sure if I was going to use it all over the, the cannon. So I decided to have a base where to work on, already similar to the, to the final looks that I was going for. So I painted the cannons with metallic black and then I dry brush verde gris. And this will leave a good base to work on if I have problems with the coverage of the, the U-Rust product or if I don't apply it exactly 
on all the spots this will have this will keep everything covered and uniform Now for the actual Eurust product, the Corrosion Creator set. I am using two of the paints and both of the reactors. I'm using Copper Blue Patina and I'm using Dark Oxide and the reactor type 1 and type 2. This, the paints, I think they are paints and they just have something on them that oxidizes with the reactors so I'm using mostly the copper the copper blue patina then I staple a tiny bit here and there of dark oxide and then the two reactors I also do them a bit here a bit there one of the reactors gives more yellowish patina the the other reactor seems to be a bit more aggressive and gives darker darker patina or darker rust depending on what you're using so this is how i'm doing it a bit of the the blue green one less of the dark oxide one and then alternate between both of the, the reactors
I'll weather the carriage of the cannons the same way that you've seen me do on the inside of the hull, on the ship proper. And I, I put a bit of I put a bit of oils using an oil brush and with odorless thinner I blend it and do some streaking effects. And on the next video, I will be working on the rigging for the cannons, but that's a bit long to stick on this video. So I'll cut the video here and I will leave some close up pictures for you guys to see the results and the big variation that can be obtained using this product. I liked it and I liked the, the end result. It's not the easiest thing to control exactly what you want. If you want variation, fantastic. If you want everything to look exactly the same, you need to be a bit more careful and might not be fully under your control. I hope you all have enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing to support the channel. I hope to catch you all on the next one.